Yeah. We at you. How y'all feeling? <laughs> this is Malcolm. You're on Malcolm Talks. I appreciate you guys visiting the channel. It's Friday, man. It's Friday, my brothers and sisters. And it's going to be a great day today. I can promise you that. I can promise you that. You want to know why? Because see, on Friday, Friday is the day when it's time to eat. What I mean by that is during the week, that's when you're putting everything on the on the uh, on the stove top. You're putting all your food out there so it can sizzle and get ready. You're putting things in the oven, right? You got things moving, you got things working. Things are cooking. And on Friday, it's time to eat. It's time to reap the benefits of what you've been working on all week. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. But if you ain't been working on shit all week, mmm, ain't gonna be nothing to eat but ramen. Ramen noodles and peas. I've been there. I've been there. Drop an egg in there. Ramen noodles. You might do two packs of ramen noodles. What I used to do was a pack and a half because I always felt like two packs was, was too much ramen. Drop some frozen peas in there. Drop an egg in there from time to time. If I if I was really doing good, I'd drop an egg in there. Might even mess around and, and cut up a hot dog in there, man. You know what I'm saying? You eating good. There's a lot of people eating like that, man. Some people ain't eat at all. But the only way you eat is you have to, um, you have to set the plate, man. You gotta, you gotta put something on the, in the oven, on top of the stove to cook. What are you going to cook? That's all success is, man. Planning ahead. Planning ahead. Just think about it. What do I want to do tomorrow? Okay, let me let me start from the very beginning, just to make it simple. Because a lot of people don't really know about thinking ahead. When you start thinking ahead, it's a game changer. Because what happens is your life becomes determined on things that you thought about first. You're not just a boat floating in some river or in the ocean, getting blown around by the winds of life. That's deep. I don't know where I read that. But yeah, getting blown around by the winds of life, man. Being reactionary. Things happen and you're just reacting. All you're doing is just reacting. You had not had no time to sit down and figure out, wait, what course am I on right now? What, what the hell am I even doing? So what I would encourage you to do is just stop. Sit down with a pen and paper. Some of y'all like, pen and paper, man. Damn, man, I ain't got time on no pen and paper. Hey, man. You're not going to be able to remember all this stuff. It's important that you get a pen and paper. You can put it on your phone. You can, put, you can definitely put it on your phone inside of an app. Or maybe you can text yourself. That's one thing I've been doing. You can text yourself when you get an idea. But what I want you to do is get a pen and paper and sit down in the quiet. Turn off the music. Turn off the TV. I hear some of y'all now. Man, I work better. I can concentrate better when I got music on. Why I got to turn all the music off? <clears throat> How the hell are you going to concentrate when you got somebody singing and rapping in the background? One part of your mind is singing too. Don't you understand? You need all your mind focused on something. It only takes five minutes. Turn everything off. Nice and quiet. And then think about it. Say, man, what do I want to do this week? You ain't got to go no further than that. What do I want to have accomplished by this time next week? Now, some of you guys are going to be like, shit, I want some money. I want some money by this time next week. That's fine. But I need you to be a little more specific. Not Pacific, specific. I need you to be a little more specific with it, man. How much money do you want by this time next week? Is it $1,000? Is it is it $20? Is it $50,000? Some of y'all are going to say, 
Shit, as much money as I can get. Shit. That's fine. But now, I'm going to need you guys to be a little more realistic. And you might ask yourself, man, don't be trying to put no limits on what I can do, on the money I can make. I can make as much money as I want to. And you're right. I ain't trying to say you can't do it. You know, I don't want to put any limits on what you're doing. But when I say be realistic, what I'm saying is, how much money did you have last week? How about the week before that? What about the week before that? How much money do you have in your pocket on a day-to-day -day basis, man? Because if you ain't got but $20 in your pocket right now, and next week you want to have $50,000, i am going to tell you that's unrealistic. My recommendation would just be to double what you have in your pocket as a goal for next week. If you got 50, you put $100 in your pocket for next week and move on to the next goal. I'm sorry I'm raising my voice, but it's incremental growth, man. Nobody just snaps their fingers and they're rich, man. Not unless you won the lotto. And that's one out of a million, bro. Do you know how many a million is? So let's be realistic, guys. My phone is tilting downward. Let's see if I can fix it. It's gonna tilt again, but it's all good. Just double, double, make doubles. We doing doubles, man. Right? If you got a hundred dollars this week, sit there and truly think about, well, how can I get two hundred by next week, man? If you got a thousand dollars this week, how can I get two thousand by next week? How? How can I get it? Can I use this thousand and somehow invest in something that's gonna be able to flip that into two thousand? Maybe so. Can I develop some partnerships and talk to some people who are willing to put in some money with me so that we can all make money and I get my two thousand? Potentially. Can I get on the internet? and purchase a couple hundred dollars worth of advertisement on Facebook and Instagram and, and then generate leads so that I can make more money and, and make my 2000 That's a possibility. But none of these things are going to happen unless you sit down and give yourself thinking time. Your brain, our brains, man, are extremely powerful. You see all this shit, man? You see all these buildings and skyscrapers and spaceships and all that? Dog, we thought of all that shit. We thought of all that. Well, not we, but some people, human beings. And it came from sitting and thinking about it over and over and over again. You can sit and think a thousand times on something, man just to make sure it's tight <clears throat> and when people see it they're gonna think you a genius when people start seeing your plans come to fruition they're gonna think you're a genius they don't they don't realize that you thought about this thing a thousand times and bumped your head so many times you can't even count nobody sees that what's the quote they don't see the grind they just see the shine give yourself thinking time um, that's all I got for the day, man. Try it out. Try it out, bro. Give yourself time. Just sit there. Don't try to don't try too hard. Just sit there and think. What can I do? This is my auntie calling me. Hey man, y'all have a good one. This is Malcolm. Young Malcolm talks. Uh, subscribe to my channel and I'm gonna holler at you guys next time. Peace.